Jackson, though, looks in shape. I've watched many videos. He's still fast. He's still ferocious. I can't wait. All right, I'm two, glad you and I share this. Can we watch this together? Sure, sure absolutely. 248 539 the telephone number. What nostalgia would you want to see again? Like in an old, it would be an old timers. Like, would you go like us to watch Mike Tyson? Would you love to see yes. the Pistons take on the Bulls now? Yes. And the old guys. Who would Rodman play for? 97 won the ticket. 97 won the ticket. Traffic. From the WWJ AM 950 Traffic Center, this report brought to you by Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. There are no reports of accidents on your drive this morning, but a disabled vehicle is affecting your drive as you head into the work zone. 75 northbound at 8 Mile, where only the right lane is open. Traffic is stop and go from almost 7 Mile. For same-day service of your air conditioning or plumbing, call Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. 37 years in the business. A-plus Better Business Bureau rating. Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. 800-924-2123. Mastercraft Heating. Com. I'm Michelle Penny with traffic. Jordan Main here from Maine Financial Group Wealth Management with today's Main Money Minute. Who do you trust? Your spouse, your kids, your parents. Most of us would say, of course. But what about your former employer? Do you trust them with your retirement? In the years I've been in the business, I've seen so many old leftover retirement accounts just sitting at companies gathering dust. They're riddled with hidden fees, costing you some of your hard-earned money. Get our special report on strategies to avoid 401k rollover mistakes. Simply go to mfg401k.com today. That's mfg401k.com to get this valuable information. There's no obligation for this report. It's time for you to take back control of your money now. Thank you and stay safe, Michigan. Jordan Main offers investment advisor services to Brady Advisors, LLC, 77885-0508, SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Main Financial Group is not a registered investment advisor and is not an affiliate of Brady Advisors. Insurance offered through Jordan Main Independent Agent. This Radio.com Sports Minute is brought to you by Taylor Chevrolet. Science with the Radio.com Sports Minute. This could be the critical weekend for both college football and the NFL. According to CBSSports.com, the NCAA Board of Governors is scheduled to vote today on whether to cancel fall championships. While the NCAA doesn't control FBS college football, a no-go vote could back the FBS into a corner. How would it look if the NCAA pulls the plug on fall championships in 22 sports and big-time college football soldiers on alone? Meantime, as I warned yesterday, the NFL and the Players Union still have some fierce negotiations to complete regarding financial considerations for a potentially shortened season and the economic impact, including how the projected losses might affect future salary cap numbers. The Washington Post reported that if an agreement is not reached, the NFL is considering a total shutdown of training camps, including virtual learning. I'm Boomer Science. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Message and data rates may apply. Come on, one more rep. You got this. Right. Ten. There it is. Nice work, man. You're a beast. Thanks, man. I feel better than I have in years. And I got to tell you, taking Nugenics makes a huge difference for me. Nugenics? That's the uh, testosterone booster with TV ads with Frank Thomas. The big herb, right? Oh, yeah. The patented key ingredient is Testofen, which helps boost free testosterone levels and increase lean muscle mass. Well, it's clearly working for you. Hey, are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try for themselves? Yeah, Nugenics is a great way. Increase lean muscle and feel stronger with more energy and endurance. And I need to get a complimentary bottle of Nugenics abroad. We just got to send them a text. Text BICEP to 42424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics, the number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of new Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, to help get you back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text BICEP to 42424. That's BICEP to 42424. This week in Tigers Baseball, brought to you by your Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. Baseball's finally here, and Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire likes what he sees. So I was enjoying this game in spring training, the way we were driving the baseball. Uh, our pitching staff looked like he was lining up pretty good. We were working on the bullpen. Doing what's needed to stay healthy will be a little difference as pitcher Matt Boyd. It's going to be different not being able to high five and stuff, but you know, we're baseball players. We'll get through The 2020 baseball season starts now. This week in Tigers Baseball, brought to you by your Metro Detroit. Detroit Chevy dealers. Playing and work, making the moves, ready to play. It's a whole new ball game at your Metro Detroit Chevy dealers with the Chevy Equinox. Equinox is the perfect SUV. Its eye-catching style is versatile and spacious. Its safety features surround you with security. Plus, with available 4G LTE Wi-Fi, Chevy Equinox keeps you connected no matter where you are. Run the D and see why Chevy drives the motor city. Visit ChevyDetroit.com. Did you start 2020 with the goal of buying or selling a home? Buy 
EXP Realty. While the current situation has halted many things in your life, achieving that goal does not have to be one of them. The real estate market here in Metro Detroit is on fire. If you're looking to get your home sold, call me, Mark Z, today and start packing. It's the same guarantee. Yes. There's a reason to listen to my show at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Because guess who I'm having on? Uh, Nick Castellanos. Close. Trevor Bauer. Wow. We will no doubt talk about Nick Castellanos. He's, he's starting on Sunday, so he's coming on tomorrow to talk about his start to baseball. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to ask him about the Houston Astros, so did you the go, shirt he was did, wearing. Did you go through the Reds PR? or you? Uh... I actually sent, I actually, this is months ago, I sent him an email when he was so vocal right. on Twitter about the negotiations. I'm like, I'd love to have you on. And like 1 o'clock in the morning, I got a, 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 an email months later back from his representation saying, he can join you on Saturday at 2. I'm like, perfect, let's do it. Wow, that so, should be great. So tomorrow. Trevor Bauer, and I'm definitely going to ask him about Nick. No doubt about Maybe it. Maybe I'll try to get Nick for the next week. Okay, because I'm sure he loves you. He um, should. How, how about a couple quick ticket texts? Please. At 248-539-9797. Talking about Jim Leland, also talking about the nostalgia because Mike Tyson's going to box again the day before my birthday on a Saturday against Roy Jones Jr. Here we go. Yeah, 250-something-year-old geriatrics boxing does not pique my interest. Just because they're in shape doesn't mean they can still box. True. I mean, you I, asked. Believe me, I understand that completely. I, but there's something about Tyson. Like, if it was Holyfield against Roy Jones Jr., I wouldn't watch. Or I wouldn't pay to watch. Tyson, yeah, I really wouldn't either. Tyson just has that magnetism that still, to me, it resonates with me. And I'm, Look, I'm an idiot. What can I tell you? couple more for you at 248-539-9797. Uh, I want to see Craig Griffey Jr. put his Mariners hat on backwards and take BP like it's the home run derby. That guy made baseball cool in the 90s. I would agree with you. And by the way, we're talking about that sweet Seattle logo back then. Uh, here's another one at 248-539-9797. Uh, I would love to see Pistons Pacers mid-2000s malice all day. Yeah, that would be interesting. Because even before the malice... I mean, they used to had some very physical games. I remember the one game, Carlos Williamson, like, threw a ball at a player or something. Remember that? Duh. It was at the, the old, I think it was actually, was that at Market Square Arena or Conseco? I don't, I don't even remember. But yeah, but I would definitely love to see Conseco, that. Conseco, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. And then a couple more about Jim Leland. Apparently, he didn't realize it was me he was talking to, and he talked about me like I was already dead. <laughs> um, so... A lot of a lot of the ticket texters enjoyed that. Apparently, I left a great. Uh, let's see. Here's a couple for you. Uh, at two four eight five three nine nine seven nine seven. Uh, I think we should all speak a in the past tense from now on. <laughs> um, geez, Jim Leland is the man. So good to hear from him. We'll always love that guy. Another one had no idea who Rieger was. You sure left a great impression on him, Rieger. Here's another one. He knows your biological clock is ticking on the radio, Rieger. And then one more for you. 
at 248-539-9797. This one simply says, Jeff, this is not the only pandemic you have lived through. It's just the only one you've paid attention to. You are miserable to listen to Mike and W. So that's some of the ticket text we're getting on the ticket text. All right. Um, we did mention that the uh, Seattle NHL team that will begin the 2022-2023 season. Is that correct? Yes, the track. 22. Oh, 21 22. Okay. The Seattle Kraken general manager Ron Francis, they unleashed the, uh, the logo and the name yesterday. And I think universal, look, I don't know. I can only go by social media. I don't call people on the phone and ask them, but most people love the name. It's different. A lot of people didn't know what the hell it meant, but it was different. The logo is cool. The colors are cool. I imagine that those. Uh, jerseys, sweaters actually in hockey parlance, t-shirts selling like crazy right now. What do we, Heather, I'll even ask you, what's your favorite nickname in professional sports? Favorite nickname? What do you think is the best nickname? I mean, listen, I, 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 you know, I love the Phillies and the Eagles, Tony. <laughs> Here is one that I dig, and I know I'm not supposed to like this team because they're in Canada, but I like the apps. I, I, who? That's the, 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 the Canadians, they call them the Hap. Oh, the Hap. Well, I thought you said something else. I thought you, another team uh, nickname that I'm not supposed to like that I really like. I thought, you said, I thought you said the Avs. The Colorado Avalanche. I think that's a great nickname. Forgetting about the history, because there are avalanches in Colorado. It's an unusual name. I think singular names are different and cool to a certain extent when used properly. Yeah, I, I, listen, I, it definitely fits, right? Yeah. So, so like, as far as the Kraken is concerned, though, like, that is so unique. I can't think of another sports name. There's a lot of college names that you'll like. Because oh, yeah. they're cool. Like the San Francisco Dons. I, I always thought that was a really cool nickname. Why? With the Dons? Yeah. I think it's great. See, I thought you were going to go, if you're going to go to California, go with the, uh, the UC Santa Cruz uh, Banana Slugs. Or See, the, that's not bad. That's or, the, not bad. Or, the, or the UC Irvine Anteaters was always a really good one I, I liked. Why do you hate my Dons? Because what's a Don? I mean, it's... It's like a mafia guy, right? No. I mean, it is. In our, yes, from the Godfather. Yeah. But they're, yeah. they're, they're, that's not their nickname. Their nickname is it's like a, a preacher, I believe. Or a, oh, is a, that right? A padre. Like, you know, yes. Oh. Like Don Quixote or something like that, you know? Oh, I still like it. Mm -hmm. How dare you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite other than the abs? Other than the abs? Um... Uh, you know what I like? I'm you gonna, ask uh, the question, you don't even have one. I Go gave ahead. one. I, I, mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't say the St. Louis Blues. Yeah, I, I, I think the Blues is a good name. I really do. Like the one, the worst one though is Utah Jazz because there's no jazz in Utah. There really is no jazz in Utah. I know. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, and if you think about it, the Lakers is a horrible nickname for Los Angeles too. There's, there's, no, there's only oceans out there. Well, there's no lakes. Are there lakes in Los Angeles? I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure there are. 